Okay, so another problem. It's not an equation because it's not equal to anything. It's in descending order. Here's A, here's B, here's C. Oh, and there's, I can't factor anything out. So, I mean, I guess I should write down, to be consistent with what I've been having you folks do, I'll write it down on this, on this place right here, 22Y plus 21. A is 5, B is 22. C is 21, and now I gotta factor it. In order to factor it, I'll try multiplying five times 21, which is what, 105? So then what are the factors of 105 that will add to give me 22? Well, let's see, uh, no. Well, I know it's divisible by 5, so I know I know 5 and 21 work, because that's how I got it. Um, I could do, well, let's see. The factors of factors of 21 are 3 and 7. So here, let me come over here and do a little factor tree. Factor trees never go away. 105, 21 prime, uh, 3 and 7 work. So those are all the prime factors. Now I just want to rearrange these so when I add them, I get 20, 22. I actually see 15 plus 7 is going to be 22. So that's what I'm going to go with. So 15 times 7 is, 20, is, is the 105, and it adds to 22. So 15 and 7 is what I want. I'm going to write... 5y squared, I'm going to write 21 here, I'm going to write 15y here, I'm going to write 7y here. Let's see here, multiplying this way or factoring this way, I can take out a 5y. And factoring this way, I can take out a 7. Here, I'm going to do just a Y, because 5 and 7, those are prime to each other. Relatively prime, we call those. And here, I can take a 3 out of each. So, 5Y plus 7 times Y plus 3. And I'm pretty sure you can just type those into my open math exactly that way and get it right. Make sure you use Y and not X. Because they will mark that off because those are Y. 